God said, let there be light. And so light appeared. When we read the Genesis account of creation, we have to remember that we're reading what uh, early people of, of faith believed about creation, how we got here. They, they looked around themselves and they saw the world as it was. And you have to imagine seeing the world without all of industry. The night sky must have looked almost as bright as the day sky. The stars, they must have been able to see the galaxies that would have come into view. They looked around and they saw uh, a, what seemed like a dome over them. Today, we'd call it sky or, or, or maybe with a bit of earth science under our belts, we'd call it an atmosphere. They saw light during the day, a sun, and then at night, this thing called moon and stars. Not knowing what all of it was or how it all worked, they put it together with what they knew. And so the authors of Genesis talked about how light came into being, and they decided that God must have, in some way, created light. You see, if we were to back up just a couple of verses, we'd find that creation, as it's understood in Genesis, took place out of nothingness. Out of a, a vast, blank canvas, something came into being. And they decided that it only makes sense that at some point light was created. And whether or not we want to accept that as a, a factual way of creation, of, of being brought into being or not, there's something beautiful about that articulation that God created light as part of this process. It just wasn't just there. God brought light into what was formless, void, and dark. God didn't allow it to stay dark. God created day. God created sunlight. God created this time that we could see one another, see ourselves, and see the beauty of the world around us. In this Christmas season, we talk about God came as Jesus Christ, light of the world. In this time uh, of coming in Christ, God once again brought light to shed light into dark and voided spaces. We each have them. We know what they are. Maybe they're things that people can see. Maybe they're, they're challenges we face that, that everyone sees. Or maybe those, those void, dark, empty spaces in life are, are things that only you know. No one else can see them. No one else knows. And you're not going to, to share. You're not going to volunteer that information. God comes as light into that void, into that dark, into that emptiness. God comes as light. And so just as God creates by creating light and calling it day and calling it good, God brings light into your life today, right now. God brings it into your life, creates something within you, creates something that is both full of light, that is day, that is good. You are being created within. God is working in you. Not when you were born, and not some time to come, but right now. Amen. Thank you.